July 11th is World Population Day. A day to get excited about multiplication. And the human race has certainly done that. Being a capitalist, in this country, we need a growing population. Our first and biggest opportunity is the expanding population. Markets are people. This shifting tide of population carries with it a clamor for new shopping centers, new schools, new highways, new fulfillments for off hours and leisure time. The unprecedented volume of goods of all kinds gobbled up by an insatiable tide of buyers uh, when it shrinks, that to me is not a good thing. Kind of sounds like a Ponzi scheme. Kind of. What do you know about world population? Uh, it's expanding. Do you know what the population is of the planet today? No, I don't. No. No. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> well, why don't we count? One, two, three... Six hundred billion or something, right? Well, I would guess uh, fifty billion too much. Seven point two, wow. Okay. That's a number that's kind of hard to even wrap your head around, it's isn't huge. it? It's huge. It is. India and China have been really busy lately then. They have, but do you know, what is the third uh, most populous country in the world? Country? Right behind China and India. Texas. Texas? Yeah, I'm from Texas. What country are you from? <laughs> <laughs> You're standing in it. Oh, the America. <laughs> I don't necessarily think we're overpopulated within the country. I mean, take a flight from here to uh, Los Angeles, and there's a lot of space out there. Is the population expanding or shrinking? Mm, I'd say sh shrinking. Growing. 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 I think it's shrinking. Is that a good thing? No. Why? We don't have the resources to sustain that many people. I guess it's a good thing. We have to keep the world going, so... We're going to run out of... What's the word I'm looking for? Resources? Oh, par parking places. Is it growing or shrinking? Don't know. What are you drinking there? Senor Peligro, Bush's alter ego. Is there enough of that for the world's population? I would hope so. You know, whether we can leave a good world for our children or grandchildren to inherit, you, you don't, you think that's conceivable anyway, right? It's conceivable if we're responsible with our resources. Um, it's, it's all about what we do with what we have, not necessarily the number itself. And how are we doing with that? Probably fairly poorly. How many babies do you think uh, will be born during the next second in the world? Uh, too many. Oh. You know uh, how many people we add to the planet every day? Uh, I don't know how many. I'm going to say... 50? Um, 1,000 tiny tots show up in carriages, prams, buggies, and push carts, daintily decorated. Come on, look alive. There are all kinds of prizes with double awards for twins. We add a city this size to the planet every three days. It's incredible. I don't think it's good. I think we should cut down on the population. It's more pollution. We're taking away animals and stuff. Chopping down rainforest, you know, stuff like that. We're depleting everything. 
Have you ever wondered where we will find the food, clothing, and shelter we will need to sustain the world's exploding population in the years ahead? In the timeless distances of outer space, perhaps? If we keep on making more food for the population that has yet to come, then the people in the future are going to need to make more food and people are still going to be overpopulated. Okay, so we now know there's 7.2 billion people on the planet. Uh, you know that we're using up resources. Marketing becomes the pivot on which our continued prosperity turns. Marketing must make the growing production mesh with the expanding market. Do you think that we uh, live pretty sustainably here in the United States? No. I, don't. Um, I do think we use a lot more resources per person than any other country in the world. How many people could live on the planet like the average American does uh, and not run out of resources over the long term? That'd be impossible, right? Especially the way we live and use up everything, and take everything for granted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> If everyone was living like the average American, I don't think we'd make it right now. But did you know that 7.2 billion people cannot live on planet Earth the way we Americans live? No, I didn't know that. Do you think it's possible for us to stop growing? Yes. What will it take? Responsibility. Do you support unplanned parenthood? Uh... How many kids do you have? Zero. Are you sure? 100%. Do you plan to have children later? Yes. Six, eight, twelve? Maybe two. <laughs> two? Two. Uh, are you planning to have some? No. No more than two. My three kids ain't gonna have really an effect on the billions of people that are in the world. But his three kids and her three kids and their three kids and everybody's three kids is where it comes into effect. So maybe they do need to plan it. Do you think the old woman who lived in a shoe uh, had anything on us? So why do you think we keep growing? People need more sex ed classes. classes. <laughs> Have your parents talked to you about the birds and the bees? Uh, no, but no, thankfully. My mother came and she talked about, and in fact she got a couple pieces of fruit. <laughs> and she used the fruit, she used the banana as a boy. <laughs> and she used the orange as a girl. And uh, she said, Stay away from bananas. <laughs> what do you think is the most important thing for a parent to communicate to their kids about reproduction? Do it safely and wisely, according to your finances and what you can, you know, what would be good for them. No, don't do it on a flying trapeze or a high wire or in heavy traffic. I would say uh, get as many as you want. So are you practicing safe sex? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am. How many kids do you have so far? Uh, thankfully zero, yeah. How old are you? Uh, 16, <laughs> yes. So, do your parents know you're practicing at all? No, <laughs> no. So do we need to cut that question out of the video? Oh yeah, yeah, that sounds good. How did the baby get started in this? I'm very much for good sex, but responsible sex. These certain glands begin to work, and our bodies begin to change. I don't want a woman in bed with a man naked. Maybe a diagram will help. We, we talk about the Earth's population, we talk about the environment, we talk about global warming, we talk about our role, we talk about our carbon footprint, and um, we talk about our impact on the environment. Um, so um, we also talk about what it costs to have a child. I think uh, capitalism is based on growth, yes. And is that, uh, do you think that that's going to work out well for the human race? Well, let's hope so. It's, let's hope so. <laughs>